Day 60, 10.51 a.m. Dogface and Hera are in the garden. Put your hands on your waist and do crisscrossing with your legs. Yeah, as many as you can. And breathe in and breathe out. Rodrigo and Charlie are in the bathroom. I was upset yesterday though, I was just down. Just really, really upset. I was. Why? Just about everything, really. I didn't. I felt like I had no friends in the house. Ah. Uh, no, honestly, I did. I, that's how I felt. I felt like really down. You know, you have. If, if you were not my friend. No, I am. After all those but, arguments, I wouldn't talk to you. But you hadn't talk sport. You hadn't sport was all yesterday. If we wake up in the next day and everything is fine. I know. It's like nothing happened. I was just being over the top. <laughs> Thank you. Just want to change? Yeah. Marcus, Siavash and Halfwit are in the bedroom. Whoa! <laughs> Massaging the solar flexors. <laughs> Brilliant. What's the solar flexors? It's, um, this area just, just around here. It's nice. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really nice, actually. Like... <laughs> sort of, um... Mm, yeah, it's really, really nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then he slipped down for a quick snake massage. <laughs> <laughs> David and B are in the kitchen. Hmm. I'm not sure if I've had porridge. It's good for you. Hmm. We hardly talk anymore, if you notice that. Well, I was a bit upset with you yesterday, B, actually, because I just thought you were trying to accuse me of things like when I got the butter out of the cupboard, it was almost as you were accusing me of taking somebody else's and the bed and things, and it upset me a bit. Why didn't you say that when I asked you if there's anything wrong? Because I just didn't want to kick up a fuss about things, you know. It was it was everyone's butter and it was my last two slices of bread. You know. Um, well, I... I don't want to get into a, an argument about it. Just I just thought it wouldn't make nice. Right, well, it's... Yeah, well, it's better that you say. Yeah, I mean... If you want to accuse people of doing things, you know, you want to get your facts right first. Because I would never, ever steal anything out of the house. And that's what I feel as if you were doing. Well, I didn't mean it to come across like that. Well, that's how it came across, B, but I just but, don't want to get into... While we're getting things out in the open, it has felt to me like you've been a bit snappy with me for the last couple of days. I don't snap at anyone, B. Yeah, you've started... Give me a couple of examples, it. then. Well, why do I keep saying to you what's wrong all the time? I feel like, is there anything wrong, Dave? And you're always like, no. Believe me, if there was something wrong, you'd be the last person I'd want to tell. Why are you being so horrible to me? I'm not being horrible, I'm just... You are? I'm trying why? to have breakfast and you just, you know, having a little... To me, when you came Dave, up to me... Dave, I just said to you, does it, does it not seem like we don't talk anymore? Well, I don't even want to talk to you, B, if you're going to be like that, do you know what I mean? Like what? I'd rather not talk to, talk, talk to you, really, really, be. Well, cause... that's what I mean. It's like... That's your dish. <laughs> why are you being horrible? <coughs> I'm not being horrible. Why am I being horrible? Because you're saying I'd rather not talk to you and you're accusing because me of something you, that I when, haven't when, done? When, when I came in here, you went, there's no bread, as if I'd eaten the last four slices in the whole house. It was like, man, at least there's bread to Dave, eat. I genuinely do not know what you're talking about. Well, just don't talk to me, then. That's fine with me. I think that is really horrible. Good. I'm glad you feel that. We should be honest. You're glad that I, th I think you're being horrible yeah. to me. Uh, how's being horrible? That's not being horrible at all. You've got the wrong end of the stick. Totally. I'm actually, I'm really shocked, Dave, and I'm really upset. Really upset. Well, I don't know why you're being upset, because I haven't done anything Because really. I've just said to you, I feel like you're being horrible to me. And you've just said, good, I'm glad you feel like that. 
There is no need to be mean. I'm not mean. You make mean. yourself out to be like a nice person. Because and you just snapped at me, accused me of doing something that I haven't done. I've said that I think you're being horrible and you said good. Go up to bed. Girls, girls, girls. Girls, girls, girls. <laughs> what? That's not being horrible, Lisa, is it? No. Dave just... Don't be upset. I just said to him, why is it... Why does it feel like we never talk anymore? And he's like, well, to be honest, B, I think you... You accused me of stealing butt yesterday. And I was like, no, I didn't. I just... Oh, he's horrible. And I said, you're being really horrible to me. And he said, good. He's a really unpleasant person. Lisa, what is wrong with him? I don't want to get involved like, with it, B, but it's, like it's down to... I don't... Wrong, wrong size me for days, and I think you're a bully, Dave. I really do. What, by speaking my opinion? I don't believe what being, you've accused me of something that I did not do, Dave. that I did not do, and you won't hear me out. Instead, Listen, you just say, you out, don't, don't talk to me then. Adult. You've already upset me this morning. Listen, you can't you just go around me, and upset Dave. someone you're and then say to them, sit down and I'll talk to you. It is not fair to Listen, talk to people like that. If somebody else pushes people around... I, I have just... never been nasty you to, to you. I have never said anything against you. you. To... And how bloody just dare you accuse me of something and then say to me, or just don't talk to me then. Honestly, well, look, pick your fucking speak. battles wisely. Well, I'm not interested. So that's, to me, that's You've really upset that, me. I haven't upset you at all. You, You've got out of yes, you are. Evidently you have. You want to take out with somebody close to you? Well, evidently you have upset her, Dave. You, well, I don't understand why she's taking it to heart because at the end of the day, to me, that is trying to accuse, accuse me of taking something that's not mine. She's blown everything out of precaution. At least I've actually shouted at her in there. I've been calm halfway. I don't, I've got respect for women. I don't bully people. But she is just taking it the wrong way. Do you know what I mean? I did, I've just spoke to her, I can speak to you now. I don't shout when I don't swear and I don't scream at women. And now she's accused me of being a boy. Uh huh. Do you know what I mean? So you don't have to shout and scream to be I a bully. Haven't... I didn't see the conversation, Lisa, but I've please. seen how she reacted. She's making out now that I... You're not a bully. You're not she's a bully. Being... No, she's making out what of I, What I definitely say, though, is B doesn't react like that just randomly. Right. Do you know what I mean? And obviously, like, she upsets just me a lot. Like, a... It's both ways, like, it halfway. Well, if someone upsets you, then the, the, the thing to do isn't to upset them back. The thing to do anybody. is to, you have you know, upset somebody. I'm a bully. A bully is somebody who pushes people around and that's not me. You have upset me. Well, I apologise if you upset you, B. I don't think you give a shit. You don't Because I told you in there that you were upsetting me and you said good. Well, at the end of the day, B, I just don't see a spending So are you anywhere. sorry or are you not sorry? I just said, I, if, if I'm... If I'm if I, I, I apologise. I'm lighter, please, Lisa. If I, if I upset also, you, I'm, I apologise. you've been Listen. snapping with me for well, days house. and I've mentioned it to Sophie. How snapping? Um, just random, you know, I'll yeah, say... Yeah, because it's like you've upset me a few times this week. A few times, three. Well, when I've been saying to you, are you all right, Dave, that would be the time to bring it up. No, because I don't want to cause yeah. a fuss about things, like you're doing. That's why. If somebody genuinely says, are you all right, and you're not all right, you should say to me, that is an opportunity for you to be honest. Honest. No one's been snappy. Eleven fourteen a.m. Some of the housemates are in the garden talking about B. You know what she's doing, didn't you? You know exactly if she's going to play now. Play this, Martha. To be accused of being a bully, I'm Big Brother. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm devastated. You're not a bully. I'm devastated. Everybody knows that, David. Marcus and B are in the bedroom talking about David. And he just flew completely off the handle and I was like, Dave, you're being really mean. Don't talk to me anymore then. Don't talk to me. And I said, you're being really horrible. Good. Oh, Marcus, he's horrible. Sockets. David's just been really horrible to me. I think it's like a lot to do with Lisa. I could be wrong, but I think she's pulling the strings completely. She's like a dog with no teeth, so she has to get everyone else to do it. 
actually always has like a, a henchman to do all the work for her. It's going to be a very argumentative week, I think. And to be honest, I'm looking forward to it. Because no one's argued enough in this house. And she's kept her mouth shut since like all the other lot been in. Now that they've gone, you know, it's time to get back into action. You don't think David's a bully, do you, Soph? No. I would say bullying. Eh? God, that's a strong no word. Way. Any? I would never yeah. buy into that. No, not me. He has been Eight. from day one. Yes. He's been so nice to me. Yes. So good to me. me. I'll never agree with that. No, man. Seriously, I, I can never buy into that. I'll never use that word ever for Dave. No, no fucking <laughs> Oh, Dave. <laughs> it's not nice to be accused of being a bully, though, do you know what I mean? Don't, listen, don't get upset. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm all don't. right. No. You know, look, the best thing is, you know, the people know who's right and Yeah, but she's going in there now trying to turn all men saying that I'm a bully and they're agreeing yeah, but with that, it. Nobody's going to believe that you're a bully. No, but uh, to be accused of it, it's upset me. And even you. people watching will see that, yeah, we didn't even, she's been saying a lot, but we didn't say Dave, we didn't see Dave say anything at all. Yeah. So, it, you know, maybe the poor guy didn't do anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, that I think the best way of That's dealing with situ a situation like this is to just stay quiet. Yeah. Every time if she does come up to you, always just nicely once again inform her that, listen, I never said anything to you. Even mm -hmm. right now, I don't want to say anything to you. Yeah. Eleven twenty-four a.m. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. It's been thirty-three minutes since B and David had an argument. I don't think you're a bully, Dave. I just think that you've been really unpleasant to me this morning with no real cause. I mean, to be on the bully in this show, B, it's really upsetting. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been looking outside because to be accused of a bully is a very strong word. You've had a different opinion on things and you've just called me a bully. Well, I feel like you've bullied me. How, though? I told you that I thought you were being mean and horrible to me and you said good and you just told me not to talk to you. Well, I, th I think that's the best thing to do. Anything wrong to you, about. Dave? I, I think haven't it's done the best anything. Thing, B, to keep assistance if you think that, love. So either, either, Dave, you're sorry or you're not sorry. One minute you say good, and then the next minute I'm sorry. Then I tell you that I'm upset, and yeah, you say, well, good. Well, and uh, Debbie, you so know... So the apology doesn't seem very genuine. It doesn't seem genuine, minute. but I, if, I have, if, I, if I have actually genuinely upset you, you think I'm a bully, then I am absolutely devastated by that. I don't believe you are genuinely to, to upset. You, to use a bully in this show, a, a show, and call me a bully like that, you know, you know what you're doing by saying that, don't you? So I'm yeah, not a bully. I'm telling you that I feel bullied. I think that you're just worried that, you know, you thought that you'd get away with being mean to me and I got upset. You just got, around, out, and you just got out of the wrong side of bed and you just came into the thing and you just, I, I didn't shout at you, I didn't... Yes, I, you did shout no, at me. No, I didn't me. be. People heard you shouting. I didn't shout, I was just talking. I might have a loud voice, but this is not me shouting, trust me. You can think what you want, I'm past caring. You're so wrapped up in what other people think of you and I think that you're aware that you've done yourself a massive dis disfavour this morning. Well, we'll see, won't we? <clears throat> yeah, we will. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. Did he really shout? Yeah. Mm. Hello. Again, he's just saying... He's not sorry at all, and he's just worried about what you'll think now. Me? Yeah. He'll he'll be worried about what everybody thinks. Because he I'm gonna have words about food and stuff like that. Are we alright, Dave? No, I'm not actually. No, so we're alright. Yeah, but do you know to be accused of a bully, Marcus, it's a bit harsh. Well I wasn't in the room, so I'm not gonna in comment on all stuff like that, but I heard that you was not happy about me doing tasks and that all the time. No, I, I just thought it's better to let somebody else have a go sometimes. I didn't say. Yeah, no, it's and fair enough. If I feel like I've upset you, but then there's I also apologize. the thing as well about food and people being selfish with food and casting words out for other people to sort of react to and stuff like that. Like when I went in the room the other day, it's not good to make snap judgments on things like that. When I was out with Isaac, when Isaac first came in the house, I gave him half a can of my lager and I welcomed him in, and no one else did. Right. So out in the garden, he said to me. Whatever you want out of my drawer is yours. 
all of it's yours. Whatever you don't want, then you give to everyone else. That's fair enough, yeah. So I went in there, so I don't appreciate it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Marcus ran in, wait, you wait, went, wait. oh, there we go, selfish Sarah, yeah. going to be stashing <clears throat> food under his bed, if that's fine. Now, I ran in there, all I took, there was all of that stuff, all of them eggs, sausage, everything. I could have just taken the whole lot and gone, ha, 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 ha. And you he got, said, to me, you were the first person to run yeah, in. Yeah, I because he said to me I could have it. He said we could all have it. But that's and, what and you do. Just, just a minute, please. You snapped so a judgment. It's like about me and Marcus. I'm the bag with your people, yeah, I'm sorry. All I took... Listen, Dave. Why, why are you getting involved, B? What's up? Fucked off. Why? So I am. She's done it. No, he's not going to me. I was just coming in to you because I thought, hold on, you're going to be on your own and everybody's in there. Fucking bitch. What's she saying, eh? I'm having an argument with Marcus and she's joining in now. Why? Fuck knows. Um, I know you're passionate and stuff like that, but I came in here to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. It has to be a one-on-one -on -one yeah, sorry, before I anyone else gets involved. <laughs> 12.34pm. B is in the bathroom. Oh, hi, B. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. Sorry. Hmm. I was about to come and have a bath myself. Hmm. Would you like to be on your own? All right. Well, tell me when you're out, and I'll hop back myself. Right, see you in a bit. I'll come around. Lisa, David, and Charlie are in the garden. Britannia is out of bounds. Sitting in the sun today and getting in that ice. Keep out of it. What's up, player? Hello. Wash yourself clean. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That glove is going to drop again. Fake tan day. It's fake tan day. Fake tan day. <sighs> Not happy. It's just the nature of this house. One day you're happy, one day you're not. What you gotta remember that it never lasts. I'm just pissed off with him. Fucking pissed off. I mean, he's not my sort of person to begin with. He's got fuck all interesting to say for himself. Um, he's irritated with him. He's just defensive because he probably is looking for something fat. But he's been he's been on my case for days. The guy is not the brightest button in the box. You know you can you can tell that as soon as he opens his mouth. No, but I say think, that, but he is. He is he's not as stupid look, as he is. We just were talking. Everything you talk about, he does have a lot of information on. I just think he's a liar. I don't think that he's honest. I don't think he's being honest about food. I'm not. I don't think he's being honest about who he likes. I don't think he's being honest about his opinions. He... The food thing. I think he just really wants to eat. So he yeah, does. Well, we all really want to eat, but yeah. it doesn't start. You know, mm. I really want a Mercedes Benz, but I don't go out and steal one. Mm. Yeah. Three thirty-four p.m. Most of the housemates are in the living room. Earlier, housemates split themselves into caterpillars and helpers, as instructed by Big Brother. Housemates have been provided with costumes and makeup and are awaiting further instructions. I'm excited. It's something to do, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I like right. these ones where it's just a quick thing and you can pass or fail. That's what I said to him last night. I said, no more of that fucking stupid stuff. Ones where we're all there and we can see if we pass or fail and no stupid things behind the scenes. It's fun just dressing up. I'm just worried about this to be vest paint because it's stained to my hand. Well, once it's over, I'll Is that actually it stained? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to get bleach to get it off. Hold 
you want some more green on your face? Why is it faded? It's just a bit patchy. Oh. No, I know. It's all over there, look, we. Huh? It's all over there, look. It's where? Stained all darts, everywhere. I don't want to fall out with you, Dad. No, no, no. It's, I'm just... Cos I'm so hungry and I'm just... You know, I don't want to fall out with anybody, do you know what I mean? We've all got to live together, haven't we, so... It's and, trying to be adults you know, and... Well, especially me, but... Bullying is a strong word yeah, to no, use. Yeah, it just upset me and they were crying outside, you know. I don't want to be thinking I, I'm bullying anyone. I did anyone. just felt, feel like you've been a bit snappy with me the last couple of days right. and I didn't understand why. And that's why I keep... I've kept saying, is there anything wrong? And you've, you never sometimes say. I, sometimes I keep things built up inside of me and it's probably the wrong thing to do. I understand what you're saying by that. You know what? Sometimes if someone says to me, I'm all right and I'm not, I'll just say I'm all right. You know, and it's probably not the thing to be doing. But, but if I, I know that I've done something, you know, the only way that you know that you can stop right. doing something wrong is if someone says, oh, well, actually, I didn't like this or I didn't right. like that, and then I'll know, and then I will know what yeah. not to do. But, you know, I've just... I apologise to you, so, anyway, and I did mean it. Yeah, well, that's... Let me just that's get better some be, thanks for that. Yeah, it's proper green, it's like a bogey. Is that it's a bee, yeah, finished? On your neck. Get these tokens and get some good food in us tonight and... Yeah, I'd love a Chinese. Ooh, I'd love anything. There you go. That's Thanks, better. darling. You guys good now? Hmm? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I just said to him that, you know, I didn't want to fall out with him and stuff. So. I don't know, because even in the morning when this thing happened and I was outside with him, he, he constantly kept on saying that I really like her, I genuinely like her and I don't know like, you know, why this is happening but he kept on saying good stuff about you, he didn't even say a bad word. Really? Yeah, he kept on like praising you. He was just like, I don't know why this misunderstanding has been caused but... But he's been snappy for days. Really? But I don't know, outside he didn't say even a single bad thing about you. Yeah, well, we'll yeah. just move on. From yeah. It. <laughs> Four or nine p.m. Big Brother has gathered all of the housemates in the garden for today's task. Oh, I'm so scared. The helpers have been wrapping the caterpillars in cling film for the last 17 minutes. The caterpillars will be given two minutes in which to go from their start position lying on the ground to standing upright. Caterpillars who succeed will each win a token for the group. All right. Oh, it feels better than standing. There you go. <laughs> You're chilled. <laughs> she just leave them here. <laughs> There you go. There is no way to get off. There is no way to get off. You're going to try. There you go, mate. Do your best. Okay. Oh my god, okay. Well, <laughs> I think we've got to sit on air now. We've got to sit on air. Thank you. Hey, welcome, dude. Yeah. Nice. Oh, just chill. Yeah. Put your head down, going to do it. Someone out of your face? I feel like a couple of now. This is so weird. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Do your best. Come on, focus. Focus. Come on, guys. Do it. You guys can do it. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my that's it. Yeah. 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 Yes, see that. Keep your hands by your sides. Keep your hands by your sides. Yeah, yeah. Keep your hands by your sides. Yes, yes. Get on, shut on, shut on.
Keep and those knees bent. Get onto your knees first and then up. I can't get on the Come on. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Yes, David. Come on, Dave. Onto your forehead, Dave. And then straight up. And you are going to make sure you get up. No, I'm not falling. Yeah. Dave, on, on your ass. Lean back. Come on, people. Oh, I'm stuck. Come on, Dave. Oh, Control, keep trying, mate. Get up, you know. Just come on, friends. Maybe Marcus, back. do them. You can oh. set up the technique again. Yeah, go on, Zivash. <laughs> and then oh, Zivash, you toes go. under. Yeah, oh, Zivash, you're toes there. Toes forward. That's it, and then just straight back. Control. Oh, oh, focus. Yes. 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 Use your head to push yourself up. Lay on your back. Yes. Go on, keep trying. Yes. That's it. Come on. Use your head to push yourself on your knees. knees and then straight up. That's it. 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 Oh. Now just go up. Go. Yes. Sophie. Sophie. Hey. Come on, Sophie. On your knees, Sophie. Well done, you lot. Now it's. Now it's. Really going with Oh. oh, that was brilliant. That, that was a brilliant task, weren't really. it? was funny. Mm. That was good. Five thirty-four p.m. Marcus has come to the diary room. After tasks, Big Brother clears all task-related equipment from the house. Hello, Marcus. How are you? Not bad, thank you. How are you? What would you like to speak to Big Brother about? Can you shut the shutters in the garden and send one of your little moles round to hoover up all the dirt, please? Marcus, Big Brother has endeavoured to clean up as much as possible in the garden. Big Brother will not be doing any further cleaning. That's no good. The house is going to get completely filthy. There's dirt everywhere. So you haven't endeavoured to do it as well as you can at all. And that's, of course, you're all just really lazy. Lisa, David and Dogface are in the living room talking about Marcus. He's, like, getting back aggressive and that. Yeah, he's cocky again. And do you know why he's being cocky? Because he's got them pee and all that. Yeah, it's what it is. he feels like he's them behind you. Because people like, supported him last week with the end. He's so annoying. He annoys me mm. to death. I can't, I can't bear to, I can't bear to sit him next to him. I can't him. stand the man. I do when he goes fucking. I'm gonna get them to fucking hoover it up. That's what he said. You have his fat arse and do it myself. He just goes in there just to, just to think, just... He's just taking over. And he was there seeing that about being that He's eyes. He's the one getting us up. No. They're a bunch of lazy fucking bastards. They're not gonna clean it and they won't even give us a hoover neither. Probably does panic, isn't he? Not it bad. Just no, disappear, not bad. yeah? Yeah, but it's... Oh, it's fucking everywhere. Not that bad, it's all right. Go and do, do, get the dustpan, then. Just leave it. Just flick really it off into it. the... Can't really do it with a dustpan. <clears throat> it was like today when we got that task. He goes, yeah, it's because I went in the diary room last night and said, give us... Don't give us them fucking long tasks, give us them short ones. That, uh, yeah. That's why we got the tasks today, guys, because he said it. Hey, oh, he's just saying he that makes, he's, getting like he's making the there. decisions and letting people know. He thinks everything's his idea. I know. He knows. Oh. He told me that he wants to was, um, go home and watch it from home. He's just... He's just he never want. he don't want to go. Of course he don't. If he wanted to go, when he was up on that roof and they told him to get down or you get thrown out, he, he literally Slide just... down? He jumped, he'd yeah. come down so fast, honestly. Slide. He goes like that, fuck, big brother, you're going to fucking do what they say. And as soon as they say, he'd see it, he jumps, he shits himself. Six seventeen pm Dogface, David and Rodrigo are in the bathroom. It's called marshmallow mold. Yeah. And basically, it just dyes your hair. But your hair. It's just, wax. No, it's not. I, don't, I can't use wax. Don't like. It's too greasy for my hair. It's just like a mold, marshmallow mold. Same marshmallow. stuff. Marshmallow. 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 Mellow. Mellow. That's correct. Got there in the end, Rodrigo. Yeah. Got there in the end. Charlie, Hira, and Siavash are in the living room. I don't like vodka that much. 
I don't like Bacardi. What about tipsy? Is that really strong? What? Tipsy. Oh no, tipsy is when you get like. Mm. Oh, that I know. Okay, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I thought that no. I knew, but I thought yeah, there was a oh, drink as well. A, yeah, called that. Yeah. A, ah. B is in the diary room. Well, I just wanted to come and talk to you about David and the general suspicions about David that I have and that some of my other housemates have as well. What suspicions do you have about David B? That he lies and that he steals. None of my food has gone missing, but um, other housemates have noticed that David is always very generous when it comes to his portions of food, and David is always eating, always complaining that he's hungry as well. Um, he's quite obviously a very food orientated and motivated person, and he goes on and 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 on about food and how we haven't got anything to eat. You know, he's like a bloody broken record when it comes to talking about food. In all honesty, I think the guy is a bit of a numpty. He's like Lisa's little henchman. You know, at the moment, the way that I'm feeling about Dave is that he's duplicitous. And if I hear him say Yorkshire pudding another time, I might just scream. He is a Yorkshire pudding, basically. A bland Yorkshire pudding. That is nothing without the gravy. And Lisa is the gravy. But still, it's just Yorkshire pudding and gravy, which, you know, is not satisfying on any level. Six fifty five PM Charlie and Marcus are by the pool. I totally use a fortune cookie once to get sex. Uh, like I went there and um this girl or oh, I went with her one said bluebells are your lucky flower and then my one said Saturday's your lucky day. So I knew this field where they had bluebells in it. And I took her for a walk. I said, well, let's go for a walk here. And then there's bluebells. And it's like, yeah, it is Saturday. And then, so, and I just took her home and had sex with her. It's <laughs> good, that. Yeah, it's really good to think of that. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of it. B and Halfwit are in the kitchen. How big is your parents' house? It's pretty big. It's a, it's a mansion. What is it, like 70 rooms? Something like that. Wow, is that? Yeah, it's a big house. Like, and it's uh, but it's not the it's not the sheer size of it. It's, it's not the biggest mansion in the world, but it's it's really it's just such a beautiful place. Uh -huh. Like it is so nice. Like you know, trees, swans, birds. Like you have swans. That's cool. What? Did you have to get permission from the queen? Uh, I think the swans have been there for quite a while. I think uh, we don't like keep them as pets. They just they just live there. It's their lake, you know. <laughs> In their opinion. <laughs> so. <laughs> mm. That sounds lovely. Some of the housemates are in the living room talking about Pakistan. Is it illegal alcohol in the country? I think it is. I think it is. If you know, it's it's about money. If you've got the cash, yeah, you can even get away with the police. That's the, that's the same in the world. Yeah. But do, don't you think maybe perhaps that's like almost about everywhere if your father is an inf influential person? I think. Don't you think so? No, that the thing if your dad in this is. Country, maybe even if, in England, if you are yeah, but it, a prince nah. or whatever, See, nobody can touch that's you. That's the difference between this country and yeah. around in your country. Mm -hmm. Because in this country, if your dad is like. Tony Blair, mm -hmm. everyone is waiting for you to fuck up and oh. it will be on all the newspapers. For example, Prince okay. Williams and Prince Harry and stuff. Yeah. Whenever they go yes. out, there is press I'm following them around. So mm -hmm. as soon as they make a mistake, it's done. Mm -hmm. But in Iran, you know, the president's son and stuff, no one gets close to them. Pe yes. People are not allowed to even take pictures of them. So mm -hmm. they can do whatever they want in public. The president. And yeah, yeah, there's like, I'm just saying, Who's like, you know. Just I'll sit down. No, no, it's okay, love. No, no, just relax. You're having tea as well. I'll just take the water. Yeah, come. You can stay there. I promise. I'm cool <laughs> with it. 
Yeah. Well, have you got like a king or a queen over that, or is it just president? No, anyone is just president. So, is it just England that got queen? Are there any other countries with queens? Uh, Sweden as well. I thought Norway. everybody had queens. Norway as well. I thought. Because I know our queen's queen of Australia, is that correct? No, because you know, like on Australian money, it's got our queen on. Is it? Has, yeah. yeah. What's that? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Get out, oh, child. Oh. <laughs> So, for example, if the president's son was on the street and I were on a bike yeah. and I accidentally banged into him and I apologised and he shot me, would he get away with that? Yeah. That is amazing. Ten or four p.m. After successfully completing today's task, Big Brother has provided housemates with tokens, alcohol and a hamper of treats. Most of the housemates are in the living room. Dave really fancies you, doesn't he, Rodrigo? You see him come sit next to him before and put his arm around Rodrigo. Dave. <laughs> Did I tell you what I said? Ooh. I didn't tell you. But no, the kebab tax. That was funny. I went, um, he fancies you and he was going, I don't believe it. it's too good to be true and all this kind of stuff. Charlie, I, Charlie, I seen it. I seen I was going to get in the Charlie, and stuff. Charlie. He says we might get married. That's what Rodrigo was saying. Charlie. I think he likes him. <laughs> you want the tropical as well? No, it's fine. Come here. No, come here. No, no, no. Come here before I say it in front of everyone. Come oh, here. No, 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 come here, just you. Then he's upset because Charlie has... You want the cookies? Stop, stop <laughs> this. Stop this. What? Stop this, you are serious. I don't want you to start any trouble tonight. I don't want to have any trouble with you tonight. So please, stop. Stop this joke. It's you know joke. I don't, But you know I don't like. Why are you doing this? I believe you. You understand? I don't like. No, serious. I don't I'll like this joke. You'll have to stop floating on them. Flirt with who? Yeah. I don't flirt with you. You're you giving him kisses and cuddles all at sit on But his I hug now. everyone. No, Are I don't you, sit in anyone. You sat in his knee for a car. I say that. No, no. <laughs> so you stop with this. I will, I will. Serious, you stop. I, I so I don't want you to have arg. Stop, serious. You stop. I promise. Okay. I promise. Yeah, Lisa right. and David are at the bus stop. You know. Are we not bottom sets me at school? Huh? Bottom sets. And they? Mm. Dunn's class, everybody called it. Dunn's class? Yeah. What did they call it at yours? Remedial. And people are spot for kids. You know I'll, I'll look if I've got three out of ten at spelling. Yeah, I'm there. I got one out of ten once. Teacher nearly went mad. She said she can do better. I just never listened. I'm quite clever. Yeah. I just don't listen. <laughs> what was I going to say? I like my antiques that, don't I, me? Go to auctions, don't you? Yeah, I do. I've yeah. got you intelligence. Got another talent. Yeah, there's other. When you ain't got that, you got it somewhere else. Trust me, we have. Like you know a lot about your eighties pop, don't you? I know a lot about music and stuff. I'm quite <laughs> up on, you know. I'm not as stupid as I make out sometimes. Put myself down, I think sometimes. Yeah, I think I do. Halfwit is in the divy room. My role in the house is to be a rock of positivity uh, and a rock of understanding. The way I'm seeing it right now with things with like Dave and Lisa and B and Marcus and stuff is like, well actually, you know, B has a lot more outspoken words to say on these issues than I do. Uh, so I'm going to let her fight that fight and just be uh, like a, a wonderful, positive a uh, ball of enjoyment that she can return to when she's finished arguing. She feels, uh, she feels, definitely feels a connection with me. Definitely feels a comfort with me. There's definitely a, a physical, definitely a physical attraction that goes both ways. A lot of that will be lost in the cameras and microphones because a lot of it's touch and smell. So, you know, I'm going to go back to the party and just sort of Play it by ear, go with the flow, basically. Um, enjoy the night. 11.34 p.m. Sea of Ash, Lisa, Charlie and Dog Fierce are in the living room. I really, really, really want to go to the Oscars one day. And a vanity party, after party. That's when I'm like, I've done it. 
Rodrigo, Halfwit, B and Marcus are by the pool. The rain in Spain. Say the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. What's the word? What's the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. The rain. The rain. The rain. In Spain. In Spain. 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 Falls. Falls. Mainly. <laughs> mainly. <laughs> main. Falls. Main. Lee. Lee. Mainly. Mainly. On. On. The plane. The plane. The. Use the. your tongue, Rodrigo. The. No. The. 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 Do this. The. The. The plane. The plane. <laughs> the rain in Spain falls mainly on, on the, the plane. plane. <laughs> 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 I'll teach you how to say it perfectly. Yeah, I want to speak. I would like to speak like the Queen. Do you think I have any chances? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He wants to talk like the Queen, Freddie. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows I want to meet her. <laughs> he knows. Freddie, should we? Freddie. Should we give Rodrigo elocution lessons? What yes. elocution lessons means? Elocution is to speak like the Queen. I would basically. love it. I would love to speak like her. Serious. Freddie. Yeah. Tell her about meeting the Queen. Be. Did you meet the Queen? No, that I wanted to meet her. Hey, he's going to write yes. her a letter. I told you. Oh, I told you as well, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you're going to write a letter and you want to go and have tea with her. I bet she'd love to meet you. Do you think so? Oh, yes. No, you're joking. I'm sure the Queen would love to meet and you. She, I would love to meet her. It's my, my, you should... my dream. I, first I would like to be in Beaver and I want to meet the Queen. It's, my, it's the, only one, the only thing I want well, in she's my probably, life. She's probably watched you on television. Do you think she watched Big Brother? I bet she, well, she's, just, <laughs> she's just a normal person. I bet she's sitting there in bed with a cup of tea and the corgis watching yeah. Big Brother. I love her. Seriously. You have to give a curtsy. Do you know how to curtsy? No. And you need to go like this. You kind of go. For men and women, is the same? No, oh, men bow. just, men probably just bow. Oh, just like it is. You could do a curtsy and a bow. You could go. But do you think... The full of the pool, <laughs> Do you think the, No, but you see, this story is serious. Do you think the, uh, if I leave the show, I write a letter saying uh, everything about me, all my story, all my love for the country, blah, blah, blah. You know, everything everybody here knows. I reckon if you wrote the Queen a letter, a really nice letter, yeah, I need I'm sure she would find five minutes to meet you. Oh, my God. It would be the best thing in my life to remember forever. <laughs> 12.23 a.m. Hira and Lisa are in the bedroom. Charlie has come to the diary room. Hello, Charlie. How can Big Brother help you? Hello. Well, I have a little question for you, my little angel cake. This little token here, that's when I traded for some more, like, some alcohol. Do you know alcohol? Alcohol. Give me A. Give me L. Give me a C. Give me a H. See, I'm doing a bit of an H. Give me a O. Have I spelled it wrong? I have spelled it wrong, haven't I? Alchol. <laughs> Can I have, come have some Alchol? I love some Alchol. Yeah, I'd die for some Alchol. <laughs> Rodrigo, David, and Dogface are in the living room. As part of their luxury hamper, they were given a jar of sweets. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Fish to the penguin. Oh, David. Another one, oh my Fuck God. Off, you're not. Oh my God. <laughs> I dare you. Go on. Well, go again, please. Please. This spider now. Please entertain the two children. No, <laughs> <laughs> don't cheat you up. <laughs> Marcus is by the pool. B and Halfwit are at the bus stop. Actually, I think I think I'm I think I'm pretty well known in all circles that I'm in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. What circles are you in? Quite well known on the on the festival circuit. Mm -hmm. Quite well known on the like free partying, raving circuit, the Pont Irwin crew. Uh huh. <laughs> um, 
live music in Bristol. I go to loads of live, mu live music events. So, you know, you just start chatting to people. Mm. And quite often I'll bump into the same people. Yeah. So, I'm very well known in where I live. I know pretty much everyone on my street. Mm. Um, <laughs> I'm very well known in my beefer. Okay. I'm actually, fuck it, I'm a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Two twenty nine AM Margus is by the pool. The rest of the housemates are in the bedroom. Have we gone on to different pages? Different M sheets. Mm. I don't know what M sheet you are. I thought you fancied me, I fancied you. I thought we were friends. Yeah. I don't want anything more than friendship. It's just that we fancied each other. You've got friendship. Yeah. I feel like a real bitch. I'm not usually put into a corner like that. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't put you into a corner. You did. I, I don't operate on that sort of level, Freddy. No, 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 I know. Do you fancy me? I've uh, been asked that since I was 14. I know, I know, I know. I'm being watched. Okay, I don't like it. Okay, do, do, do. Hear me out. Please. Latest from the house, go to channel4.com slash big brother. Tomorrow, Charlie Brooker casts a critical eye over the best and worst in the box. Channel hopping with Martin Freeman and Reginald D. Hunter at 10. Wife swap looms with a born-again Christian trading places with a mum who doesn't give a prayer. Next on 4. <laughs>